guys! So today I have a summer inspired makeup tutorial. So if you're watching this in the summer, this will be great to do. But if you are in a wintry climate like I am now in February and you are as sick of the cold and the snow as I am, then this is perfect because this will just like warm your face up make you think of summer and I just think that this is just like a really pretty look to do in general. I am hoping and praying that the lighting in this is okay. I was so excited to film this video. Um, I knew I was going to film today before I went to class and when I left for class at 9 it was like the sun was out and I feel like I haven't seen the sun, like actual legitimate sunlight and like super brightness, like you really need sunglasses, like, su like almost like summer day sunny <laughs> in like two or three months. So I was so happy. And then um, I was only in my class for like maybe 30 or 40 minutes because we had an exam and I got out and it was like freaking pouring rain and like gray skies and I was so upset. So that's like why my hair is like a little crazy looking because I got caught in the rain. And then anyways, now that it is 1.30 in the afternoon, I'm finally finished filming this and it is like freaking thunderstorming, like the sky has turned black, so I'm just hoping <laughs> that the lighting looks okay. I was like so excited to have good lighting for one of my videos for the first time in months since it was so pretty and bright outside earlier and that just, that just didn't last. So anyways, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So to get this look started off, I just have my foundation on, which is my Neutrogena Shine Control Makeup in Classic Ivory. And then also as a highlight slash under eye concealer, I use my Kat Von D Lock It Longwear Foundation in L42. And I also filled my eyebrows in with my Maybelline Expert Wear Pencil in Blonde as per usual. And actually before I put my foundation on, at the very start of the day, I did use my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Face Lotion SPF 15 before I left for class this morning. So that's been on my face for a couple hours and I just put the foundations on. And then now I'm going to go ahead and put my eye primer on, which is this MAC Pink Pot in Painterly. And while I do this, I just would like to ask you guys to excuse some things. This winter has been like so brutal and I'm very prone to eczema. So I kind of have like the dry flaky scaly patches like all over my face unfortunately. And uh, luckily I don't think that the camera really picks up on that. But also one thing that I wanted to note is that I've started to get it like right here on my skin on the end of my brow bone. So basically what that means for me for this eyeshadow look that my eyeshadows are going to blend as nicely in the crease as they normally would. So just don't mind that if that happens to happen. Um, it won't look like as muddy or not as precise and blended as if you were to do it on yourself. So just keep that in mind. And then I also used my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, which is just a white liner on my waterline. Alright, so since this is a nice bronzy look, what I'm going to do is make it very literal and take some bronzer, which is Nars Laguna, and you want to put that in your crease. Um, lately I've been like a fan of just like starting off with transition colors in my crease and uh, doing uh, cut creases lately have seemed to have been my thing. So basically I'm just going to take this bronzer and just with a big fluffy brush just get it in the crease and then also put it, I like putting my bronzer right in there in that little hollow spot. Then you also want to take some of this and put it under your eyes as well. Okay, so then now we're going to move along to the Naked palette, the original one. And the first color that we're going to take is Buck, which is the second darkest matte color in the palette. And then you just want to take a bit more of a more condensed, still semi-fluffy brush and really concentrate this on your socket. And what I mean by that is that like you want like right here, like where you push in, it's like right before your brow brow bone starts. That's especially where you want to concentrate all the shadows from now on. You don't really want to blend them further out from that and you especially want to make sure that you don't put any on your lid. So basically as you can hopefully see that I'm just going like 
back and forth and just like wiggling the brush around and that's basically what you want to do to try to build up color. And then of course once you're done with that you can go back and sort of fine tune it a little bit. You just want to you just don't really want to get these darker colors going up as far as the bronzer that we put on. And then also one thing, you want to make sure that you are bringing these all the way in towards the inner corner. Don't be scared to do that. Okay, and then you also want to take a, just a little bit of buck and put that on your lower lash line as well. And then we are going to kind of blend this out pretty heavily on the lower lash line. Then you also want to take this pretty far into your inner corner as well. And then now we are going to move along down the palette and take some of smog with the same brush and just kind of do the same thing, only don't use as much and we're just going to concentrate this more towards um, the smog. We're not going to necessarily concentrate on bringing it all the way in. We're just going to bring it like three-fourths of the way in. And then of course every time that you're done, just to make sure everything is nice and blended, you can always go back with the bigger fluffier brush just to give it like a once over really fast because like again you don't want to have everything like super blended together. You still want to have some sort of a gradient definition of where we have the lightest to where we have the darkest. And I'm sure that you're sensing a pattern here. We're going to take smog and just put that more on the outer third of the lower lash line and we're not going to blend this down as far as we have with the other colors. And then last but not least for the crease, I am going to take more of a stiffer fluffy brush, blending brush, it's not really fluffy, blending brush like this and move on down to Dark Horse which is the deepest, darkest, most like chocolatey brown in the palette. And this you really are going to like barely use any and just really concentrate it, again, going about halfway in. And then the more that you have this blended, the more you can kind of drag it in further. If you want to, you just don't want to have like that initial like really dark line close to the inner corner. And then with this, you really do want to take the big fluffy brush because you don't want it to look like you have a line there. Okay, and then now you want to take sort of like a liner brush with Dark Horse and just smudge that right under the lower lash line. This you want to keep as close to your lashes as possible. I'm going to kind of take that in, but not all the way in. And then I'm going to take this bigger fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out slightly. Okay, so now we want to concentrate on our lid color. And then if you did get some down on your lid, that's okay. But basically I'm going to take a combination of virgin and sin and mix them together. And then that's all that's going to go on the lid. I'm going to take just barely any sin because I don't want it to have too much pigment or color. And just have it mostly be virgin because I think that this just gives it such a nice highlight and just really makes the lid color sort of pop and stand out. And then you can just take virgin and just sort of pop that right into the inner corner. And then that is it for shadows. Okay, so now to finish up eyes, I am just going to take my lash curler. And I personally am not going to use liner on the top just because I really like the effect of just having like the super black like mascara line. I, am, I think that it really adds to the look and just kind of makes the crease pop more and the lid pop more if you don't use any eyeliner. So I'm just going to strictly be using mascara. I'm going to put on a pretty thick coat. This is CoverGirl's Bombshell. Uh, volume lash blast and on the lower lash line because the packaging is too big and like this wand doesn't extend further enough you will smear smudge the crap out of your lower lash line if you try using it down there at least for me that was my experience so the lower lashes I will be using my trusty old Mary Kay lash love lengthening on the lower lashes 
Okay guys, so quickly for the rest of the video, I already bronzed my face. I used Laguna bronzer of course, now I'm going to take Albatross as a highlight. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. This guy's just turned black, which is just super great. And then blush, I'm just going to use Orgasm. I just barely use anything. And then I like to sweep underneath my cheekbone and then sort of blend it back and up onto the apple of my cheek. Just like that. And then I love this color. Like it's so perfect for summertime. It gives you such like a sun-kissed look. And for lips, I'm going to be using my favorite nude combo because I just feel like the nice bronzed eye, like nude lips is what looks best with it. And um, I don't know, I just think of summertime when I think of nude lips. So I'm using my e.l.f. in Nicely Nude. And this is like a My Lips But Better color for me because that just has a little bit of a pinky hue. I'm a big fan of pinky nudes. In case if anyone is new here and they did not know that. And then to top it, I'm using my MAC lip gloss and I think this is Love Nectar. This is just like a nice peachy pink and it has some gold flecks in it when it catches the light. It's just really, really pretty. Okay, and that is it for this I really wish it was warm in summertime <laughs> bronzy makeup tutorial. I hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you next time. Bye!